staying downtown Kailua in Kona and it seems to be the first church built on this island the Hakuna Matata church <laughs> <laughs> the Mokuai Kaua yeah that's what I see church Kaukai Forest area this is tough because it's one long word if they break it up it's a little easier but I'm not sure how to break that one up Mokuai Kaua Kaua <laughs> Uh, anyway, established in 1820. So yeah, it's a pretty old church. So it's after Iron Man, so this is like, you know, there's still some Iron Man people that are around, a lot of people still wearing a lot of the shirts and hats, but it's really calmed down and it's really different than what it looks like during an event. And since we love this part of the Big Island, we thought we would take a little tour of this strip. Yeah, we're spending a whole week in Kona, so now we do downtown Kailua. Baby sister. Yes. If you're ever visiting Hawaii, I think most islands, I know definitely Honolulu, but this is like your all around convenience store. You can find most things that you're looking for in addition to, you know, basics like t shirts, but they are a locally owned business, I believe. And um, yeah, they're all over in the touristy spots. It's about the only store in Waikiki, and um, I bought huge bags of Makajimi, and that's the first time I stayed there. That's how I know about them. But I think I also bought a Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You can get alcohol, you can get water, you can get, yeah, if you forget your swimsuit, your swimsuit, all kinds of stuff. And yeah. there is a running joke among people that live here that it's called the Already Been Chewed store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a cool gecko. Cool. But yeah, I do wonder what makes it. I don't wonder enough to find out. Part of what I'm seeing here in Hawaii is a whole lot of really cool art and designs. Um, I would buy a lot of these designs. However, in the tropics you don't want to wear cotton. Like we're only wearing these quick dry fabrics nowadays. And if they start putting designs on them, I'll buy them gladly. Until mm -hmm. then, I cannot. Yeah, if you wonder, most of our uh, hot weather destinations, I wear the same two or three shirts <laughs> because of this fabric, this Kapolein cool fabric that Patagonia makes. It's just amazing. If you put it on, you literally feel cool. Yeah, it's amazing. It's just, and it's quick dry. Yeah. So I sweat a lot, but with this fabric, it like dries instantly. I never feel weighted down like with cotton. And I don't sweat much, so I stay dry entirely all day long with these fabrics. So it's better, it's way better. So I hope soon all these designs start transferring over to the good fabrics. Some beachfront bars here. It's quite nice. Some amazing trees here too. One of the most classic things to do at the beach resorts is the, the ocean side or whatever, the, the water side bars and they do have those here. Though they're not straight up on the water, there's a road in between which isn't the best thing. Yeah, instead, closer to the water are actual beaches where you can swim, so that's a little more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, the food I guess isn't so bad. I mean, you can get little deals like that, you know, it's not you know exorbitantly expensive, but what's going to kill you is the rental car because you must have a car yeah and uh, also lodging because lodging they give you the base price and then they add a lot of taxes yeah they're hidden fees of all sorts yeah. here pissing you off but um and i got the most expensive car enterprise had <laughs> just because because i really wanted to try it well, you know a lot of other people do too that's true this is the official kona vehicle right here everywhere so this one is a little older but we got a 2019 wrangler and I have to say it's one of the best cars I've ever driven. I'm having more fun with it than with the Audis we've been driving. Mm -hmm. And design-wise, it's super well designed. All the choices are correct. Mm -hmm. I love it. Another thing related to cars that's also a little expensive though is the gas. I think it's about $4 a gallon. Uh, there is a Costco, but it is, you know, it's only on the Kona side, so you're going to have to go there specifically if you want a little bit of a discount, but other than that, yeah. It's expensive here. Yeah, if you get out of Kona, you go by resorts more so that are isolated, the gas gets really expensive, so get it in town. Yeah, right here in downtown, there's sand, so you can just it's go in. To the beach. <laughs> there's also another one down right there. The yeah, there's many beaches. Tiny little beaches. This yeah. is also, I think, where the Ironman swim competition takes off. Uh, I think they swim through this bay here. Look at the big cloud coming over there. And this is often the case here in Kona, 
where the hills are rainy but the beach is sunny mm -hmm. and it's really what you want yeah. if you want to cool off you can go up yeah. the hill if you want to come and swim you can come down here and just around the corner you know there's the marina there but there's also another beach which is pretty cool sand and smooth easy entry right in downtown Kailua it's pretty cool huh I think this is obviously because there's a hotel right here. So ah, well. They build it up a little bit, but it's nice. Yeah, this is a much bigger sandy area. And once again, it's a beach in Hawaii, which means anyone can go. It's Kapu. Yes. Yes, if you ever are in Hawaii and you see Kapu, it means do not enter, don't go there. It's not the same as a Komomai, which means welcome. Oh, that's it's what it is. It's the polar opposite of it, like don't go there. Yeah, oftentimes you see stuff and it's like, a Hawaiian word and they expect you to know the meaning but some yeah. places do it better than others I guess bathrooms are a good example so you have like kane which means man and then uh, wahine which means woman and they try to depict it right yeah. <laughs> sometimes kind of yeah. questionable if you're not one or the other I don't know if there's a mahu <laughs> I don't know if there's quite a, a universally accepted term so I can't see but there's like dozens maybe even a hundred yellow fish very bright I wonder if it's like a bit of an infestation because even by our place we I saw a lot oh, really? of them in the water yeah I, I saw them way down the coast by yeah by the place of refuge we yeah need a polarizer. Yeah, we really definitely need a polarizer. We tried to buy one but we couldn't find we it. We went so to Walmart far. out of just pure desperation. The hill, I pretty, knew Walmart wouldn't have it. Pretty any, sad photography you know. section there. You never know. So we're still here observing these fish, these yellow fish, and earlier I was like, oh I thought that they were golden leaves at first, that had fallen off the trees. But then I thought about it later, I was like, wait a minute, that actually doesn't happen here. You don't get seasonality because of the weather. Uh, the leaves don't actually change. It's like one season all year round, which I think was unusual for probably you the first time you came, or at least your father pointed it out. Well. But like trees are weird here compared to everywhere else in the world well sure in the tropics trees can have fruits and blossoms and all stages in the same time and they're not necessarily producing one fruit a year is like many many a year yeah so it's a totally different cycle um, it's more reliable through the day to have the cycle with the clouds over there than it is to have any season you can count on yeah yeah, and I guess if you grow up here, that's just how it is. And you have to move away and live somewhere else to realize that it's different. Um, and actually now in our new house that we just moved into, we have two fruit trees. Or we have a fig, we used to have a fig tree no longer, but we have uh, the pear tree and the persimmon tree. We had a fig tree, so I was able to watch that whole process. But watching the whole process of like trees like being bare and growing and then getting all the leaves and then producing fruit and the fruit falling, I've actually never seen that before. I've never watched the full cycle on like one steady tree and it's mesmerizing. It's really interesting. I wonder girl what can I see? Yeah I'm sure for you it's like oh whatever everybody knows that. It's like I know that but I've just not ever watched one or two trees go through that whole cycle. <laughs> and it's really exciting. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh here you can watch geckos instead. Yeah. There they are. My brother and I used to chase geckos and we'd find the little eggs and I remember we used to like pick up the eggs and then we found ways to like incubate them and hatch the eggs. So, so that's the kind of thing when you, you do when you grow up here. It's still there. It's sideways. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It thinks it's being clever. Ooh, it's happening. So that's the nice thing about rain as well. Is that that's how you get rainbows. This is why Hawaii is the rainbow island. You have them every single day. Yeah. It's actually quite spectacular and right now very close here is a big rain. I hope it doesn't... Uh, it is kind of coming. It looks right. like coming as now the clouds are over us but straight ahead. Do you have your zoom? I do, yes. Yeah, I should put it on. drove to the desert to escape the rain and ended up at this place summit. called cool. Waikoloa village yes. and here is Waikoloa beach and we're right in the slopes of two at least mountains but there's actually four nearby and in the middle of them is a desert which is very interesting and right here we can see the summit of Mauna Kea with all the telescopes showing above the clouds which is pretty awesome 
Very cool. The summit we wanted to go to. Couldn't quite make it. We got blocked. And here we have a lot of feral cats for some reason. They're kind of nice looking. Feral cat relocation spot. Oh, is that yeah, what it is? Here, here. Interesting. <laughs> they get spayed in the and then they come up huh. the nice. It is a whole colony of them. Wow. There are a lot of them. Lots and lots of cats. <laughs> Look, the bathroom is solid lava rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Well, gotta do something with it. Amazing. Not too shabby. It's really legit. Yeah, with the nice. lagoon. Yeah. And of course, canoes and everything. And a beach bar. So we finally made it to the beach and it's a very gentle night. It's warm and a little bit of breeze. I'm it's inspired to take photos for some reason. Well, you have the means to and a good place for it. Yes. Guess I'll be doing videos as I have been. down this wilder part of the beach it's a sunset walk here it's a lot more sandy but you may get splashed I'm using my Keens like snowshoes so I don't sink <laughs> smells like turtles hey. <laughs> like this yeah it's pretty cute this is what we've been doing for almost two weeks now. Hanging out on beaches and taking videos of turtles, yeah. <laughs> Some Fujifilm red badge action here. little glimpse here. So we spent this past week on Big Island and it's our favorite island because it is the largest and youngest island and it's not as populated as Oahu and so it feels a little bit more relaxing here. Yes, yeah, more, more, more relaxing and more adventurous as well. There are many really epic attractions and it takes a while to get to them mm -hmm. so you're actually doing travel adventuring which is our favorite style. And you also have the nicest beaches ever. Yeah, they're more private because they're not as obviously yellow sand beach or white sand beach as like some of the other islands here. A little bit more rugged, but that gives it more character. And it's more interesting from a photography perspective as well. Yeah, there are many, many wild ones. There's some more cultivated ones. So you get to choose whatever you want. Mm -hmm. In the particular area we stayed in, this resort I think is called Kanaloa and it's positioned right between the Kona Country Club and another golf course so it's really quite of a loaded area and it's right off of Kailua right now in the end of the main strip Ali Drive and it's also right under the coffee belt so if you just go 10 minutes up you're already in the coffee farms mm -hmm. it's a really really good area here uh, I think the general town is called Keaho and we're kind of right off it on the beach. Mm -hmm. We even have a little shopping center nearby, so it's been a really convenient location. Yeah, very good location. The resort itself is fantastic. I don't know if I've been to a better resort in this. And I think Kona is the best place to stay. And Kona, by the way, is a county, not a town. It has many towns, but it's a whole county. It's very large. So mm -hmm. you need a car and it takes a while to explore it. Yeah, so it's been a really great trip. We went all out with the Jeep this time, which is a nice upgrade from our last trip. So it allowed us to drive to the bottom of Waipio Valley, 
and we did have other plans to use that Jeep, but they were a little foiled, like Mount Akea was impossible, the Green Sand Beach was impossible, but luckily we were able to at least do the Green Sand Beach on a previous trip. Yeah, that's true for us, it doesn't quite matter because we know we're coming here many times. Mm -hmm. It's one of our very favorite places. We have direct flights from Seattle, and the prices are actually a little bit lower than Seattle when it comes to spending money. Mm -hmm. So for us it doesn't break the bank, but for a lot of people it's very hard to get here. So we love it, we'll be back. Jeep is the vehicle for here. Mm -hmm. And if you're here, if you're planning to be here, you can probably see almost everything big in one week. But if you wanted to rest in between as well, you need two weeks here. It's yeah. a large place. So if you want to do both resting in great environment and see all the attractions, book mm -hmm. two weeks on the big island alone. And Kona is a great base. Uh, I like it this way the most. Mm -hmm. Same. We'll see you in future content. See you in the next video.